As a wedding videographer, traveling for a wedding can seem really overwhelming. In light of this, I want to hone in today specifically on a few things I've learned over the years about packing for destination weddings and elopements. Hey guys, Stanton Giles here, and I'm really excited to be jumping into the subject today. By far the biggest question that I get is how I'm packing for travel weddings, so I'm going to be going over five different pieces of luggage today. Two backpacks, two roller carry-ons, one light stand and tripod hard case, and also some travel tripods and light stands that I use. But real quick before I jump into this, I want to go over three really important things to remember when you're traveling. Firstly, the most important thing to remember is that never under any circumstances should you put any of your wedding gear in a checked bag that goes underneath the plane, except for maybe light stands and tripods. In the off chance that the airline loses your checked bag, you have everything that you need in your carry-on and in your backpack. You're not out of your ability to work, just maybe some extra clothes and some toothpaste. As a general rule of thumb, you should have everything that you need to film a wedding with you on your person at all times when you're traveling in your carry-on bags. That includes your cameras, batteries, SD cards, lenses, drone, audio equipment, you name it, make sure it's on you in your backpack and in your roller carry-on. Secondly, it's important to remember that different airlines have varying rules in regards to what size and how many batteries you can bring with you. In general though, almost any airline I've ever flown on will not allow you to put any sort of battery into a checked bag unless it's plugged into the unit that it's operating. Airlines are primarily worried about fire hazards when it comes to batteries, especially lithium ion batteries. So even when you're putting them in your carry-on, make sure you're putting them in a fire safe bag to avoid any hassle with TSA. I've linked one that I've used for years in the description of this video. Another good thing to remember is that most airlines allow any number of batteries that are less than 100 watt hours to be carried on with you. That's a really big battery, so most of the time you're gonna be fine. Also as a side note, whether you're going through general boarding, TSA pre-check, or clear, make sure that you're pulling your fire safe bag out that's full of batteries and putting them outside of your bag. By pulling my fire safe bag of batteries out and putting it into a separate bin, I've mitigated 100% of TSA searches after it's gone through the CT scanner. Thirdly, and this one's really important too, is note that there's a difference between a personal item and a carry-on. Most airlines allow you to take on one personal item, which is typically a briefcase, a purse, or a backpack, while a carry-on is typically a larger roller bag that's not included in most basic economy fares. Be sure to note when you're purchasing your airline tickets to see if they include a carry-on or not, and if they don't, do yourself a favor and go ahead and upgrade your ticket. I'd be really impressed if you could fit everything that you needed to film a wedding in just a backpack anyway. One more quick note before we jump into some carry-ons and backpacks. Remember that the bags that you choose to travel with and put all of your wedding gear inside of is not an area that you should be trying to find the best deal. There are plenty of cheap bags out there, and trust me, they will fall apart. So treat this as an investment and choose to travel with your gear and protect it in the best way possible. All right, so let's move on to my favorite bags to travel with for destination weddings and elopements. Let's start off with the Think Tank Photo Airport Security V3.0. Think Tank has always had really good roller carry-on bags, but this bag in particular really maximizes how much stuff you can fit inside of it while not compromising protection of your gear, which is why I chose this bag. Designed specifically for videographers and photographers, it comes with a dedicated cushioned front laptop and tablet compartment, as well as TSA approved zipper locks from the main compartment. This is a big carry-on, which means you can fit a ton of your wedding equipment in it. I've researched the maximum carry-on size for American, United, Delta, Southwest, Frontier, Allegiant, you name it, this bag fits into all of them. However, always be sure to double check before flying. On the back, you'll find your classic telescoping handle, as well as a very well cushioned, and easy to hold onto carrying handle. The top compartment unzips to reveal the included security cable and TSA approved three digit lock. Going inside of the bag, you will find what you probably expected, partitioned Velcro soft wall dividers that you can use to fit whatever packing situation you need for your gear. On the inside of the main flap, there are also some more zippered storage compartments. There's not much else to say about this bag other than you just know by holding it that it's built to last. The wheels, skid plates, and handles are all very high quality, and I'm super pumped to be traveling with this bag this coming wedding season. If you decide to go with the Think Tank Photo Airport Security V3, you can click the link in the description to get free shipping and a free Think Tank product. Next up, we have a backpack. It's the Peak Design 45 liter travel backpack. This bag can hold so much equipment. High quality nylon, weatherproof, coming in both sage and black colors, I've been super impressed with just how many features this bag has. It should be noted that this bag is not necessarily just meant for photographers and videographers unless you buy extra accessories. For my purposes, I went with a large camera insert and the tech pouch, which Peak Design sells separately. Starting on the front, there are zippers on both sides to expand the backpack out to its largest size if you're needing more room. The front of the back has multiple anchor points all along the top where you can attach straps that are located under this flap here for carrying things like tripods and other equipment. Another really cool thing about the Peak Design 45 liter travel backpack is that you can actually hide the waist straps back into the mainframe of the backpack. 
I could go on and on about how much stuff you can fit in here and how many different ways that you can pack your gear inside of it. I want to keep this video more informational and less of a review, but just know in general, I recommend this backpack above any other backpack for travel weddings. Before moving on to the next two bags, I want you to know that the Peak Design 45 liter travel backpack and the Think Tank Photo Airport Security V3.0 are my go-to bags for this wedding season. These bags are reliable, these bags are built to last, and they hold so much gear. These two bags here come in at a higher price point than the next two bags that I'm about to mention. So if you are looking for a more affordable option, then I got some great bags for you. The biggest compromise that you're gonna have by choosing the more affordable bag is that you're probably not gonna get as much stuff inside of it. I've been using these two bags this year and I've actually found myself when traveling to weddings actually having leftover space even after packing all my wedding gear inside of both of these. So let's move on to the next set of bags that I used for the last three years before upgrading to these two bags. First up, we have the Manfrotto Manhattan Mover 30. One thing that I really like about this backpack is that although it's not as big as the Peak Design Travel 45 liter backpack, it still can hold my big 16 inch laptop inside of it. Another nice thing about this backpack is that unlike the Peak Design backpack, this one actually comes with a large camera cube insert already inside. By far my favorite thing about this backpack is the access you have to the camera cube from the back compartment. Not only does this backpack have access to the camera cube from the backside, but you can also access it from the top. As we all know, having ease of access to your gear is essential on a wedding day, and so over the last three years I've really enjoyed using this backpack for all my destination weddings and elopements. So the last carry-on that I'm going to be going over today is the Pelican 1510 carry-on case. Again, just like with the Manfrotto Manhattan, I've trusted this carry-on for the last three years. Now obviously Pelican is a very well-known brand, and having a hard shell case to protect your gear is definitely an advantage, but when it comes to a size comparison between the Think Tank carry-on and the Pelican carry-on, you're looking at a lot less storage space inside the Pelican. This is a pretty standard carry-on, having padded interior dividers and a foam topper. Obviously, you're not going to go wrong choosing a Pelican product to travel with, but be sure to consider how much gear you're carrying with you before you decide to buy this carry-on. So that covers just about everything that I wanted to say about backpacks and carry-on bags in this video. Hopefully you got a good grasp of what these bags can offer you. I encourage you first and foremost to look at how much gear you actually are bringing with you to one of these travel weddings. If you have a lot of gear, I'm going to go ahead and recommend my current setup. If you don't have as much gear and you travel super light, then I recommend the second setup. The next biggest question that I get asked in regards to travel weddings is what light stands and what tripods am I bringing with me? This is a super good question because a lot of times light stands and tripods can be really big and really heavy and aren't really conducive to a travel scenario. As videographers, having tripods and lights with us is pretty essential. So if you're wanting to travel with some tripods and lights with you to some destination weddings, I have a couple options that I think will work great for you. So in regards to tripods, I have these Manfrotto compact action tripods. I know earlier in this video I was talking about not skimping on price in regards to the quality, but these guys are super cheap and are just as good as the expensive Peak Design travel tripods. This little tripod collapses down to 17 inches, but also expands up to 65 inches, and I've never been in a scenario where I've needed more than that. This tripod also comes with an easily adjustable ergonomic joystick head and tripod headlock. Now remember that this is a light and small travel tripod, and that comes at the expense of quality. This thing doesn't even come close to comparing to the quality of a full-size Manfrotto tripod, and honestly that's okay, because it's only three pounds. I have two of these and they come with me on every wedding that I shoot that I travel to. Now light stands are where things get a little more tricky. If you own a travel light stand right now, it's probably somewhere around seven to seven and a half feet tall. This is great if you're doing a commercial shoot or something, but as wedding videographers, we're using our light stands to light speeches and dance floors. People already complain enough about our lights as wedding videographers, so having a light stand that's only seven and a half feet tall is gonna be really annoying for people that are looking around with lights blinding them right in their eyes. It also looks super unnatural and weird on camera whenever a light is that low. So I spent some time this off season scouring the internet looking for a travel light stand that went taller than 7.5 feet tall. Finally, I came across this light stand here, which extends all the way up to just over eight and a half feet tall. This still isn't ideal, but you'd be surprised how big of a difference it makes when you put a seven foot light stand next to an 8.5 foot light stand. This Flashpoint tripod collapses down to 21 inches, which should easily be able to fit inside a check bag or on the side of a carry-on bag. Again, just like with the travel tripods, I carry two of these to every wedding that I go to now. Lastly, if size and weight aren't of concern to you when it comes to tripods and light stands, and you just want to go ahead and check a bag with your full-size light stands and tripods, look no further than this SKB case. I've had this thing ever since I had my first ever destination wedding and it stood the test of time. There's not really much to dive into in regards to this SKB case. It's pretty straightforward. It can hold a lot of gear. I've put three full-size Manfrotto light stands, two full-size tripods, and one monopod in here with no problem. The only thing to think about is that the weight of all those things quickly adds up and you need to keep it below 50 pounds. Another thing to note about this SKB tripod and light stand case is that although it falls into the typical size requirements for checked baggage, it's still going to come out on the oversized conveyor most of the time. I don't see myself switching away from this SKB case anytime soon, so if you're looking for something to bring your full-size tripods and light stands with you to your travel weddings, I would go ahead and get this one. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you were able to take away something that's gonna help you when it comes to packing for your next travel wedding. Also, if you haven't had a chance to join our Facebook group, Destination Wedding and Elopement Videographers, there's a link to join down in the description of this video. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching this video. I know it's super stereotypical for people that make YouTube videos that ask you to like and subscribe, but if you did like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm gonna be coming out with more content just like this in the future. Good luck to you guys with your upcoming travel weddings. Destination weddings and elopements are so much fun to film, and I'm hoping they all go well. I'll see you next time.